Randy Couture, one of the pioneers of the UFC. He came into the game already with accomplishments in folk style and Greco-Roman wrestling, and these allowed him to lay the foundational elements of what a good wrestler would look like in mixed martial arts. While starting out shooting blast doubles, his Greco-Roman influence led him to develop an active clinching style that used a lot of dirty boxing techniques. His dirty boxing system is an area I will analyze in a future video, so please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see that. For now, let's look at his takedowns and cage techniques. One of these techniques is what I like to call the bump and dump, and I consider it a fundamental takedown to know against the fence. Based off a double leg takedown position, you use the natural flexibility of the fence to generate momentum to help off balance and lift your opponent in the air. This is achieved by driving your energy into the opponent and the cage, which will force them to be rebounded back towards you. When this happens, you use that generated momentum to help lift their legs out from underneath them, securing the takedown. This can be achieved from running your opponent into the fence from a distance or by stepping back and bumping into them if you are already pressed against the cage. When clinching against the cage, Randy would prefer to work for double underhooks high across his opponent's back and neck, secured with an S-grip and lifting their arms in the air to then chain this together with an inside trip. The high underhooks open the opponent up for knees to the floating ribs and may also force them to react to the lift by trying to drop their weight down which will assist in the takedown. The high underhooks also prevent the opponent from being able to defend by securing a tight overhook or whizzer and the extending of their body helps off balance them for the trip. If they have a foot posting off the edge of the cage, then he'd look to trip it with the inside trip across the back of their calves, but the trip itself could be performed from the over under position. Another option Randy used from the high double underhooks is to twist his opponents down onto the mat. Stepping in and lifting his underhooks to load his opponent's hips on top of his own, he could then twist his upper body in a steering wheel like motion that would spin his opponents onto the ground. Instead of double underhooks, if he had an over-under body lock position against the cage, he would now look to grip low on his opponent's back to capture control of their hips. He would then look for a step around throw, where he would step around to his underhook side and place his knee behind his opponent's, then rotate their body over the block knee to complete the takedown. One more yeah. option from the body lock is the twisting suplex, where he rotates the upper body while stepping in and twisting with his hips. Here he is performing it from the back against Tito Ortiz. If he had to drop his level, he would look for a high crotch takedown. This is where he would squat and join his hands together, then step in to lift. He would make sure his hands are locked high on his opponent's thigh, so that when he's lifting, it's their hips he's lifting into the air and not just their leg. Once in the air, he would look to step around behind the opponent and put his head on their chest to knock them over the position leg so that they fall backwards to the mat. And while we're talking about dropping levels and takedowns, how can we forget about the classic low single that Randy hit against James Tony to completely avoid the boxer's punches? From the early days of the UFC to the modern era, Randy was able to use his wrestling base to challenge all comers and take him to the UFC championship title in both the light heavyweight and heavyweight division. He set the standard for what a wrestler boxer should look like in the octagon and laid the foundations that many after him has followed. In the future, I will do a deep dive taking a look at his dirty boxing clinch, so please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. I hope you enjoyed this look at Randy's cage techniques. Please comment down below what other topics you might like me to cover in the future and like and share this video. If you haven't, subscribe to the channel and check out my website at sunnybrown.net and follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram all at sunnybrown. Peace.